We're at Brixton Academy, about to play tonight for Tom O'Dell. He's Max Goff. And he's Max Clover. Yeah, and he plays bass. <laughs> and he Tom. plays guitar and pedal steel. Goff, what are you playing and why did you choose to go with Laney? So I'm playing the new uh, Digbeth DB500 head and 8x10 cab. An absolutely ferocious bass amp. That, yeah. You know, it's loud, but it's kind of controlled and it doesn't, it's not murky and horrible. But so you just get out of it everything you put into it. And it's easy to use. It's easy to get a good sound out of. You know, it, it's nice having a company that's based in the Midlands, in mm. the UK, so you're not trying to get hold of people that are the other side of the world. That's you're the thing. dealing with people that you know and... And you've got one point of contact and they'll always sort you out. So I've been with yeah. them for 10 years. Well, yeah. Uh, and I'm using, I've always used the Lionheart, so I'm using this 50 watt head now. If one goes down, there's a replacement there, I sent, sent out, they service them for me. They've never really broken, have they? You know, they don't, no, I mean, occasionally, don't... you know, a valve might go or... Yeah. <clears throat> something happens, but like, yeah, very rarely. And I've got spares and they all sound the same. Like, they yeah. all sound really good, clear, like crystal. I love the highs you get if you play a clean guitar. Yeah, they're just really reliable, especially if you're touring a lot, if you're away a lot. And well, I suppose you're getting rattled around in the back of a truck. Yeah, yeah, they always, everything takes a lot of abuse on tour, but like, I suppose if you're putting different things through them as well, obviously like different guitars and things, but now you're also putting a pedal steel through it. Yeah. You kind of, the fact that you know where you stand with this one amp head, it's still using it for both things. It's, it's kind of a consistent thing that you can then just alter yeah. to whatever you're doing. The steel's a funny one, because like, I've not been playing steel that long, like, you know, two and a half, three years. And it's like, amping a steel's a whole different world, and I didn't know whether the Lionheart would work for it. So why is it different? Well, I think because you want like, like a lot of transistor amps work really well with steel rather than a big, yeah, yeah. like you get the tube sound with the Lionheart, but it, it sounds a bit, sometimes it sounds a bit like a twin or something, like oh, if you're okay. playing clean and it's, it's really good for steel and it just, I just tried it and I was like, well, that sounds great. And you kind of get enough headroom with it to handle all the low end of the steel well, yeah, as well. Yeah, it's, it's a 50 watt head and I put yeah. it in the low input and there's loads of headroom. Steel's Amazing. really loud anyway, but it stays clean to like, halfway yeah because you don't really want it breaking up no for the pedal steel because it needs to be nice and glassy and stuff so yeah well, well, even on a guitar you want a bit more vibe and uh, you know to drive the more character yeah it. yeah yeah so sort i of find that with the bass heads as well because you can sort of dial in as much sort of grit and detail as you like but i'm also you know chucking that moog yeah. through it as well but it just sort of takes everything i've sort of found that yeah other amps and things i've used a sort of clip as soon as you put too many pedals on with gain stages and you yeah. know, fuzz and things like that, but this one just seems to sort of take everything you chuck at it yeah. and it just gets louder and you know, I don't more know dynamic. Enough, I don't know enough about sort of, that's the great thing about the laners, they just sound really good. Yeah. And I, I don't particularly want to go down the wormhole of having to tweak everything every night. I just want it to sound the same. No, because usually you haven't got time either. Like no. You sort of sound check and you've usually got about an hour or so. Yeah, exactly. And most of that is musical, sort of learning songs and yeah different arrangements and things like that. So you haven't got time to be going, no. so I've got to spend an hour dialing my, this, you know, dialing the room in for this exactly. thing. And Well, we're from basically, there's two towns, Chippenham and Corsham in Wiltshire, Goffs and Corsham, and I went to school in Chippenham, yeah. I live just outside it. I think you knew my brother. Yeah, I knew your twin. We've got lots of mutual um, friends, right? And, yeah. Yeah. Because I used to work in a few pubs around there. I used to work in one that was called the Two Pigs in Corsham. Yeah. I went there for a while and they had blues bands in every Monday and one of the bands they had in was Max's trio. <laughs> yeah, the chase. So I sort of knew who he was and you know, it's, it's, it's quite a big circuit there but it's also very local, like everyone knows everyone. So if, you know, yeah, if, if you're you doing those there, gigs. Like once a month. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I used to play in there with a band as well and like you just sort of get to know everyone on that kind of very weird little circuit. But, it's but great. then we didn't hang out and we didn't really know each other and then when no. I walked into the Tom audition, Years ago. Yeah, I just sort of recognised you. Yeah, like, like, oh. oh, we're from the same part of the world. And Yeah. Um, well, there's like the big ones, like Glast Glastonbury, like the other stage, and then we did the pyramid two oh, yeah. years ago. It's hard, because they're all different. Like, yeah. It's the ones that stick in your head. Like, I think the, the Apollo gig we did at Hampshire Apollo here. That was really here, good, wasn't it, yeah. In London, uh, on the last tour. Yeah. The last tour, that was good, because it was seen as a sort of we played at Brixton, where we are today, quite a few times, but we've yeah. only done the Apollo once, and it was, it was a, a big event, venue in London it? that we haven't done, yeah. and that was nice, and it's nice when we played well and your family and friends are there. And yeah. The best thing about being on tour with mates is the fact that you can 
sit down after a gig and have a beer together and have a yeah. laugh. And it's always the same jokes and the same... Yeah, same you know. stories, usually the same music, the same five songs. <laughs> it's always at 3 the same, but it's fun and like... You don't get sick of each other. No, with this gig's it's like, like, we're lucky, we're really lucky because yeah. been, it's been the same group of people for it's like years and years now. Yeah, it's like 11 of us. Like yeah. All the same, you know, backline and front of house and monitors and everything. You Man, spend so lucky. every waking hour with people. And yeah, I probably spend more should time get out. than I do with my wife. <laughs> 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 At least I did until lockdown. Very different sort of time, isn't it? Well. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs>